Oh, and we're on. <laughs> oh, we're live! Oh, I don't have my workbook ready. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be having our first read along discussion for the Cruise Utopia book club. And Reagan's here with me, and so is my roommate Teresa, who also read the book club book. So she's our honorary member for today. Yes. <laughs> Of course, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. Oh, Reagan. <laughs> Sorry. What happened? That was ambiance, okay? <laughs> oh my god. About the book. And if you guys have any questions or want some discussion points, comment, because I'm going to be reading the comments, or use the hashtag. What's the hashtag, Sasha? Crazytopia. I just tweeted it out, so you guys should go check that out. So we'll be monitoring that and answering some questions, but should we just go ahead and just start? Yeah. Okay, who wants to start? I think that you should start, Reagan, um, because there's two of us on this end, so. Yeah. Yeah. Should we, like, first talk about, like, our star rating and just, like, overall impressions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah gritty details. Mm -hmm. So I ended up giving the book like a three to 3.5 stars. I thought it was really good, but it lacked some like character. The one thing I'll say I really, really loved was the world. I thought that was so interesting, like this dystopian alternate historical setting with like kind of obvious nods to both, um, I was going to say communism. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to say. Colonialism, like colonial <laughs> commonwealth and um, also the French Revolution. I thought that was so cool, which I really liked. But I don't know. I kind of found the characters to be like a tad flat. And I didn't really like the plot was like, okay. You know what I mean? Like it was just kind of always like that. So that's why I gave it three stars. What do you guys think? Um, well, I'll go next. Um, or do you want to go? No, you go. Okay. <laughs> so like, um, yeah, I, I agree with the three um, stars. Um, I thought that it was it was a really good plot line. I did enjoy it. But um, I did end up reading it, like, in two days, and I read 200 pages of this book today because I'm a slacker. Huh? But I did finish it. But it's okay because um, I enjoyed it, but I felt like the plot line was kind of jumbled at points, and a lot of the plot just got me a little bit confused because um, there's lots of names to remember and places to remember, but then, like, some people are, like, really irrelevant, and they ah. can play, like, randomly. So, like, um, I just got a little bit jumbled in the storyline, and I wish it was more clear, but I love Renee. Oh, yeah. He is awesome, and he has red hair. <laughs> so, I mean, that's not, like, a good, like, character. Like, I, I mean, like, I like the red hair. So, and he's a great character, I think. He's my favorite. Yeah. How about you? Um, I think I ended up giving it, like, a 4 to 4.5 stars. I, I, like, really enjoyed it. Um, the beginning was really slow for me, though. Like, that took me a while to get into. But as I kept reading, I kept getting more into it and more into it. And I did think the world was really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, a big fan of historical fiction. Yeah. So, reading that no. like, yeah <laughs> like having that historical fictiony aspect but then also having it be set in the future i thought was really interesting to read about and i love the french revolution like parallels mm -hmm. and stuff i thought that was awesome it's really cool to just hold our plot line of something yeah. being in the future but it was regressed regressed yeah. to the past. Yeah. So i really like continuing off of that like it was definitely like my favorite part and you could tell it was really well researched too so i'm I'm a history major and an advertising major, so like I don't know. I, there was some definite like real life nods to the French Revolution with like the hair being a real thing and like stuff like that. So I'm just like history Easter egg up in here. Like I like that, you know. Like it's something I really really liked. Um, the one thing I'll say like I wish was more drawn out was their actual relationship. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I wish there was a little more cat and mouse and I wish he didn't find out that she was the rook straight on like right away I don't know I wish it was a little more yeah like you were like, kind of confused like I wish that um they made it seem like maybe he was a rook and then she was so yeah. there's a big plot twist in the middle yeah I was really confused when I was reading it in the beginning because I wasn't actually sure if she was the rook or not like as yeah. I was reading I was like wait wait what <laughs> yeah <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> so true yeah, and um, I just thought, like, the overall premise was good, and, like, um, it did, I, like, I was talking to Reagan about this when we are trying to pick the book of the month. We really like that type of arranged marriage type yeah. situation a yeah. lot. Like, it's so good, and, like, you know what? It was pretty good. Um, I loved how Renee's character progressed from, like, kind of this, like, annoying dude. I was like, really? He seems so, like, pity and, and like, no, petty and, like, just annoying, but then, like, yeah. um, 
Teresa was like, just wait. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I <laughs> waited. So much better. Better. <laughs> yeah, it gets so much better. Yeah. So there's actually like, a, just because we're talking about, there's a question on Twitter that's kind of related to what we're talking about. Yeah. Megan asked, were we able to immerse ourselves in the sunken slash upper cities based off their descriptions? And I'll say that's one thing I wanted like more on. Because like, yeah. they didn't, am I like, am I lagging? Can you hear me? No, I can hear you. No, yeah, we hear you. Okay, I didn't know. I always panic about that. But, like, that's one thing I really wish I had more on. Like, I thought we had some, in like, there was always, like, hints of some really interesting political developments in both the Commonwealth and in the France thing. Yeah. But there wasn't a lot of expansion on it. So, like, I really would have even liked more world building because I thought the world was so interesting. So, yeah. yeah. yeah I, was really confused. About that. I was confused with the worlds at first. Like, it was a little hard for me to grasp like the Commonwealth and the Sunken City and the Upper City and like the Lower City and there were so many cities. I, I wish was they like, had a map. Did... They needed a yeah, map. A... Oh, a map would have been good. Oh. Oh, it's just me, I think. So, everyone, let's just answer your questions. Hey, they're back. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just freaking out. Oh, my God. Our school Wi Fi sucks. So, <laughs> sorry. No <laughs> difficulties, everyone. It's like the Ethernet. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Sorry. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm like, am I still on this call? I was just like sitting on my computer like this. I was like, oh. Like, and I was like, oh, what's, what's happening? <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that we're back. So yeah, you guys were talking about the sunken. Oh, it's just me. Oh, I, I still have my volume on, which is. <laughs> but um, you guys were talking about the sunken and upper cities before mm -hmm. we got cut off. So if you like, remember where you're at, you can continue on. I think. Yeah, like I think that the whole concept of the sunken and upper cities, like, it was really interesting. Like, wasn't yeah. it seem like the um sunken city was more of the um. I don't not accepted, but it seemed like were they the more rich people or was it the upper city that was more rich? I was really confused I think, by that. Well, I think it was supposed to be a play on the French Revolution. So like the peasants lived in the the sunken city, but because the peasants have kind of taken over the city and the government and they're like fighting against the bourgeoisie and like killing yeah. them with the guillotine, they're definitely not rich, but they have power and numbers and they are really brutal and killing people I think I just wish there was like more on that because it's so interesting is there going to be a sequel do you guys know I don't think so I, I think it was that it wrapped up yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, this kind of yeah like I um, I would have definitely read a sequel if there was one yeah I don't know if I would have read the sequel to be honest like that was a good book yeah. And um, I was entertained. I don't think I would have read the sequel. I feel kind of bad saying that because it was good, but honestly, I don't think um, there's enough in here for mm -hmm. there to be a sequel with a lot of content. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I agree with that too, because especially because, like, while I really enjoyed it, it took me so long to read. It was only like three stars, and there's like so many books in the world where I'm like, do yeah. I want to like invest the time and the energy to read it? But I mean, this, I mean, I still, like, enjoyed it. Like, it was still, like, a nice read. But in terms of reading the sequel, like Sasha said, I just, I don't know if I would also do that. Yeah, and, like, um, somebody has a question, um, actually a statement, really, and it's, like, well, it's a question, but it says, um, from Jump Magic Jump, and she asks, um, how did you feel when they finally got to the city and there's still half the book left? I feel like it was really dragging in the oh middle because of that. Like, I was looking, I'm like, how is there still 200 pages yeah. left? Yeah. It's, it's happening. <laughs> I know, like literally where I saw my bookmarking because I finished the book yesterday and my bookmark was on page 291 and they had just gotten to the city and I'm like, how do I have this much left? Like, yeah. what is going on? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, other things I'm like all over the place. It goes with the world as well, but that weird religion that LeBlanc was like so attached oh, to. Oh, yeah. Was really more on that. That was such a cool concept. Yeah, like luck, and they—he was flipping like a quarter, but it was like a relic and stuff. Like it was so interesting. Like I want 
more on the world because it's so clever. The world was so clever. Yeah, yeah. like the especially the religion. I was asking Teresa like questions about it because I'm like, yeah, there, it was there. They had they were talking about it a lot, but I felt like I never really understood it fully. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if we could have gone with them to, like, a meeting or something, that would have been cool. <laughs> Were they, like, ex- like for new members, where they explain the whole thing? <laughs> initiation. It's like, weird initiation. <laughs> True. Exactly. It was a really cool concept. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that made him seem a little more crazy, though, too, that he was, like, following this religion, and then it's, like, it was, like, what? Like, this is so yeah. weird. Why are you doing that? But then it made him seem, like, even more kind of, like, sinister and uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Oh, um, I'm just going to put this out there. Um, Reagan, are we announcing the book club book of the month for um, October in this live show? Are we going to be doing it? We are, right? Aren't we? And then we'll also announce it, like, in our book calls and stuff, too. But. Yes, yes. So um, 